Hi Leo, welcome to your reading for the 8th of August. Nice quick reading this one. We have, well that's not good, present position, present expectation, the unexpected, short term future, long term future, energy on the bottom. Oh, saved it with that last card. I thought Leo we were going to have a sour reading from you for the first time in weeks it's not a great reading don't get me wrong it's not one of your better ones but the sun card just lifts every other card in the deck so it turns a horrible reading into a bad one and it turns a good reading into a great one so i think this was a a fairly mediocre reading and i think it's just been lifted up so your present position unusually for leo is a card of self-pity and lack it's like oh woe is me look at all these coins that are all broken and dusty and dirty and it was like well why didn't you polish them up? You know, you've let them turn to rack and ruin like this. It's a card of lack. It's a card of self-pity. It's a card of not seeing the wood for the trees. So just be really careful of this energy. That's a bit of a soul-sucking energy, this one. Um, then you've got the... F so you've got two fives. The fives are after the stability and the foundation of the four. You've got the sort of wobbliness of the five. You know, if you think of a five-pointed object, it's spiky, it's it's unbalanced, it's not quite right, yeah? And that's what the fives are doing here. So this five is, you know, this is you in the middle, you're the Gandalf staff and everyone else is breaking against you. Could be seen as conflict, can sometimes be seen as a, a, a rival in love or someone junior at work who's just, you know, got it in for you a little bit. A little bit of friction, a little bit of friss on there that's not, not in a good way. And then what's unexpected is just how much of a burden this is becoming. You know, it's a bit like, oh, I've had enough of this. Um, in The good news is, you know, you've seen this card often enough. This is the Goliath beetle you can carry a hundred times its own weight. So this is not a problem. This is the problem here. Somebody's somebody's going along for a free ride. Karma's a real thing. They will get theirs, don't worry. But it does feel a bit like, you know, woe is me. I'm having to do all this work here. So... Don't worry, they'll get their comeuppance. Short-term future and long-term future is great, but unknown. Short-term future is um, generational stability and wealth. It's about, there are lots of castles in the taro, and, and oftentimes they are on the hill or they're in the distance, and we're heading towards them, and castles are your goal, your ultimate goal. In the Ten of Cups, you are inside the courtyard of the castle. You made it, you've got to that goal. So... This is a, a very much, both both the tens are cards of completion, so you're almost at the end, you're about to put your burden down, and that is generational stability, wealth, um, in relationships, it's about everything just going swimmingly, really, really great energy to end the week with. And then the long-term future, which is like, you know, next one, two, three weeks, is the destiny card, otherwise known as the wheel of fortune, the train is in the station, it's time to jump on board. Um, in this particular reading, it talks about this creature is, is kind of lording it over Earth and it's just, it's just pulling these strings of destiny and fate and tying them to whomever it wants. And it feels like we don't have any say in that. I'm not completely convinced by that in that card. I don't believe that fate is quite so, you know, we can't change it. You, you know, I, I think... I think, yes, we have a fate and a destiny, but those things change. You know, there are people who were serial killers who've decided to turn to God and have become wonderful members of society and vice versa. So what was it their destiny or did they just change that? So I just think if you come to a crossroads and you can go left or right, left is serial killer, right is prime minister. If this card would say that regardless of which way you go, you're going to end up being a serial killer. You'll be the first prime minister that's a serial killer. I'm like, no, I think you get to a junction and you make a choice and that then takes you to your fate, destiny. We'll see. Anyway, like I say, having the sun card there lifts all of this. So it's quite a quiet week for Gemini. Sing your own song. That's the canary spirit. Happy with that. Yep, yeah, you've been doing that for the last couple of weeks, so I don't expect that to change. Just be yourself. There's only one of you. Uh, yeah, be yourself, everyone else is taken. <laughs> that was the line, wasn't it? Be yourself, everyone else is taken. Just be the best you you can be and everything will work out swimmingly. The universe has a plan. Um, reward for uh, craftsmanship, diligence, 
people are seeing how good you are at what it is that you do. This could be a relationship, two people and your partner just going, I love this person. They just made me a cup of tea in the right cup at the right time, you know. Um, mm. Gold cap. Um, this one's not quite so obvious, but in, in other readings, I'm not quite sure what the whale is. There's a whale and a ship behind here. But he's normally got his foot in the water, and the king of, of cups is completely in tune with his emotions, you know, and to that end he is able to... Um, what's, the, what's the famous line? Um, to, the strength to change what you can and the wisdom to live with what you can't change, you know. I know I've bastardised that phrase terribly, but that's what it means. And it's great to be able to have that level of understanding where you know... There are some things I can change. I'm going to be strong enough to do it. And other things I just can't fix. So I'm just going to have to learn to live with them. She's come up three times this reading. Love this card. In this card, you know, check that space out. That is a real settled, smug, abundant, you know. She's in tune with nature. She has everything that she wants. Is Whenever I see this card, it just says the word settled. It also feels very Leo as well. This is a very Leo card. I'm sure it is a Leo card. But these two just feel, and there's a cat there as well, feels very Leo. So it's this energy that I'm drawn to on here, less so with this. Um, so it just feels this week, you just feel like you're having quite a mellow week. Nothing to worry about. Um, the sun card, as ever, is just, it's just lifting you up. Just be careful. Don't let this energy get you down. And it doesn't seem to. And um, there's something completing this week as well. So I think we're going to see the end to something for, for um, Leo. And then we're going to boost it up again because you've just gone from great week to great week to great week. I think it's quite nice to have a week where you can just coast a little bit. So take it easy, Leo, and I'll see you for the next one. Take care.